Are you looking for some inspiration for your Hobonichi weeks for your weekly view? Then this is the video for you. In this video, we're going to be planning for the week of June 12th through June 18th. So grab a cup of coffee, pull up a chair, and let's get planning. Hi, welcome or welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time seeing my hands, hi, how are you? My name is Erin of Playing Life with Erin, and I'm so happy you are here with us. Thank you for checking out this video. And if you're returning, hey, how have you been? All right, guys, you've been requesting more Plan With Me's in my Hobonichi week, so here we are. Um, we're gonna plan out for the week of June 12th through June 18th. I keep wanting to say May. <laughs> so that's why I keep pausing because I'm trying to make sure I'm saying the correct week. Um, it's been crazy around here. So I thought I would take some time this morning. Um, I had a little, I have a little extra time today. So I thought maybe I would do some planning. Um, and my hobonichi two weeks for this week. Um, my week isn't super busy. I do have a lot of things going on still, but I wanted to do a quick little plan with me. Um, quick little, um, I don't know if it's a backstory or or not, but some info about me and the hobonichi two weeks. I started um, October of 2022. I decided to get one. I wanted to see what the hype was about hobonichi, and I absolutely fell in love with my weeks and decided to go ahead and just jump into it for the 2023 um, year. And I also have a Hobonichi cousin, which uh, I'm obsessed with. So for my Hobonichi weeks, I use this as my everyday carry. I have it um, set up so there's any reminders or um, doctor's appointments, things like that. I always have it with me. Um, and I'm not sure how I'm going to, or how much I should say, I'd be using this in the summer. I would like to think I'm going to be using it just as much. I tend to use it for tracking um, some habits that I'm trying to keep up with. Um, I've been using it to track my mood, and I've also, I always use it as a market list. So I probably will be using it just not as much as I do during the school year and when we're a bit more active and out of the house. But Anyways, um, I don't know where I was going with all that. <laughs> Honestly, it's been, I am one fried human. If you guys have been around on the channel for a little bit, you know that last week was, wow, hot mess express over here. So I'm not sure where I was going with that. I think I was trying to tell you that I might not be using this as much, but I will still be decorating and definitely tracking and doing things like that in this planner, but it might not have the same um, fullness that I'm just used to seeing in my planner. So we'll see. All right. I am going to, let's see, what do we want to start with? I think I'm going to do, um, for this week, I'm going to use the washi tape stickers, um, that they sent to me. I do have a code. I will link everything down below. Um, I cannot remember the name of this set, but I will link it below. Um, they're just so cute. And I kind of feel like a neutral vibe this week. Um, Last week I did Misty Haven and I absolutely adore the blueberries. It gave me like strawberry shortcake vibes. So this week I'm thinking I want to do something a bit more neutral. And I have these cute sticker washies from the washi tape shop. And I'm just trying to decide which ones. So like this one's really speaking to me. So I think we're going to go with this, this set. I'm really liking these colors, neutral vibes. Um, and you know, I think honestly, I could probably mix and match. So let's see, I definitely love this one. We're definitely gonna go with this one. Um, I'm needing some calm in my life right now. My schedule is completely off. Um, Joe had surgery last week, so I'm feeling like I just need some r and R. I don't think I'm gonna go with this set. Let's see. I also have some other elements that we can be adding into this. Let's see what's on this roll. I have not used these sets yet other than swatch. And I do have an unboxing video. Ooh, that one's cute. I like that one. All right. I think we're going to go with this roll and definitely for sure the other one that I said. Okay. 
And then I'm going to bring in, I think, some of these beautiful washi stickers, also from the washi tape shop, um, as some just different elements. I'm gonna try to keep it simple today, so this might be a shorter video. But I'm really liking these florals. Ah, okay, so let me put this down for a second and we'll go over some colors I think that I might be using. I Like I said, I wanna keep it very neutral. So I have my favorite go-to neutral color by Tombow. So it's N79. And then I have 992. And let me tell you, I have three of these in case um, anybody needs one. I have three apparently, cause I pulled the same color and I like this color because I just pulled the same Tombow three times. So there's that. And then I think I might see how this one is on the Tomo River paper, 990. We'll see how dark or light it is. Okay. So I've planned all different ways in the Hobonichi, like where I've made columns. Um, I've planned vertically, vertically, I think. I don't know. Like I said, I'm a hot mess today. Um, but I have been really liking just a row of things. But I think what I might do, just to kind of mix it up a little bit, I might do, I might draw a line down the center. I haven't quite decided yet. Um, hold on, I'm looking for day covers. I have them. I have some day covers in here, I believe. Yes, let's see. I wanna find my neutral set. So let's get those out. I have brown. I think I have some neutrals already printed. Or maybe we just go with brown. Here's my neutrals, I think. Oh, these are not them. Holes. All right, I got them. Here is my neutral, and I think we're going to go with this bottom brown. Now, these are from my shop, um, my Etsy shop, Playing Life with Erin. Everything is always linked down below. And let's get this down. Now, this might be a little off because I printed out all my misfits, my trial and error. And I'm a firm believer of using all of the stickers. Yeah, so this one is a misfit. This one is a little bit bigger. So let's see if I can take it off because I had some that were too small. If I can't get it off, it's fine. I know when Monday is. Ooh, actually, you know what? Ooh, okay, never mind. It is staying on there. Okay, guys, <laughs> it's fine. Um, it's a little off, but again, some of them were too short and apparently this one was too long. This is the one that I wanted to use. Um, okay, anyways, I can't restick that down because then we'll have like two Mondays. Hmm. All right, we're gonna do a little bit of sticker surgery. Let's see if I can get this off because I've been working with mostly misfits that were too short so surprise i had a long one in here and let's just take that off and then we're gonna just put on this one because it might annoy me a little bit that they're just not lined up properly so let's just stick this right on top ah if i can get it to not stick to my finger and then we will continue. This one's a little bit too short, but that's okay. And then let me see if I can cut this M so we don't have like just like an M hanging out. Get this off. Everything is figure outable. That's what I tell my kids. They kind of get a kick out of that, but it's true. if I can get this off. I think I just made a hole on my page. So you know what? We're not going to go crazy with that. We'll put something over that to cover it. Okay. So there's that. Now I think that what I'm going to do is I'm going to put these aside so I know that they are the longer ones and they are not to be used. <laughs> um, it's okay to use. I mean, I think I could probably use that. Um, maybe like my cousin for a weekly. Let's see. Just to cover the days. But anyways, I always like to try to repurpose things. All right, I'm going to zoom you guys in because on my last few videos, I had a couple of requests to see if I could zoom you in a little bit more. So I wanna to try to zoom you in, but keep you in frame. All right, 
That is looking good. So let's start off with some washi. Um, now this, oh, she's so pretty. Actually, you know what? We're not gonna sour washi, sorry. We're going to do my high and low section. And I like to use, if I can find it, my Energel Klena. Here it is. This one I believe is the, it says it on here somewhere, the 0 0.03. I use this because I feel like it dries faster. Sorry, I just took you guys on a ride. I also oh, have to watch out for my nails, but I also turn it weird so I can do the lines. But all I do is, so there's like light lines here, but I'm just kind of darkening, darkening them up. There we go. And just extending the section out. And I use this for my high and my low of the day. So we have this thing at dinner time with my kids where I ask them to tell me one high and one low of their day. So then I decided to do my own and that is extremely crooked. Maybe I should put my glasses on, that would be better. Okay, much better. Now for my first sticker, I'm going to actually put, I wanna put this down because then I feel like my whole spread is gonna be based on this sticker. Where do I wanna put it? So I have a market list that I'm gonna to have to be adding here. And then I've been doing a habit tracker and then I've been doing my mood. So I think if I put it right here, I love these washi stickers. They blend in so beautifully with this Toma River paper. I absolutely love it. And it's very lightweight. So there's not added like weight to your page. Loving it. Okay. And now we can add in some just simple grid washi. This is my go-to grid. I have like, I don't know, five or six rolls that I ordered off of Amazon, I believe. And I absolutely love this washi, especially when I'm doing a good neutral spread. So let's try to get this one on straight. I don't, this is the Japanese version. So I don't have any use for the bottom section. Oh, I love that, it's so pretty. Okay, so let's go with this color for my market list. And then we will do my habit tracker. Let me find my other pen. I have like 5 million pens when I plan. Are you like that? Let me know. Where is it? Oh, here it is. So this is an ink gel, Paper Mate Ink Joy, sorry, gel pen body. I love the body of this pen, but the inside ink is Sarasa Dry. Um, I feel like it works um better than the ink joy um, it doesn't it dries faster and it has like this nice richness to it that I really like okay for my high and low I think let's see how bright this color is if you can actually see it okay that's not terrible um we'll do these two colors for my high and low and all I do is I just kind of put bullets down I really hope I'm not sure if that's coming up on camera um but I just put in these bullets to mark my high and my low. And I think I'm gonna do my low and my favorite color. And I think this will kind of hopefully make the other color pop out a little bit. I can see it fine, but I'm not sure. Oh yeah, it is coming up on camera well. Good. Oh, I'm already liking this. And then I just write in high and low. And I'll write in like one good thing and one bad thing. Some days I don't even have a bad thing, which is good. Okay. And now down here, I want this to be my mood tracker. So my mood tracker is very simple. Um, if you've been on the channel for a minute, I've struggled with trackers and I'm not sure why. I mean, I know the general idea of a tracker. I know how to do the lines for a tracker, but then something in my brain goes a little wrong and I can't figure out what I'm doing. And then they never come out the way I want them to. But um, so far, these have been coming out nicely. So I'm kind of sticking with it. 
and perfecting what I'm doing. I just did that too far away, but that's okay. And then here on the side, so this is my mood tracker. And I use this, don't mind my handwriting right now. I use this to track um, not just my mood, but I'm also trying to see if there is like um, a correlation between my mood and my migraines, which actually have been somewhat okay lately. So this is gonna be my anxious, and I just do these like little doodles, nothing special. That's gonna be angry. Sleepy. Let's put some Z's next to it. And then happy. I just do a couple. I think I had, um, what I have in there? Like, just like indifferent, like where I really didn't have a mood one way or another. But I've kind of eliminated that one in the last couple of weeks. And I've just stuck with these four because it seems to be like the most of what it is. Anxiety could be anything from like just feeling some social anxiety or um, actually feeling like, oh, I don't know, um, social anxiety to feeling overwhelmed and that kind of stuff. Let's do, let's do some florals. I don't want to cover up the 24th week. I can't believe it's already the 24th week. I'm kind of all over the place right now with this planner, but, or with this spread, I should say. I'm really enjoying how this is looking so far. Let's see what else we can use on here. I wanna to add too much color to the spread. I'm trying to kinda of keep it as neutral as I can. Oh, I like these sunglasses. We're gonna have a nice week this week, so I'm kind of excited about the weather that's finally kind of happening. It's going to rain a bit like at night and stuff. Oh, I like that. Put that there. Um, but for the most part, it's going to be a really nice week. I'm trying to see. Maybe we use some of these too. I really love how these sets, like even though they didn't come together, like so these florals didn't come with these dolls. But they go so beautifully. Let's do some flowers down here. And then we'll add in these cute sunglasses. Oh, I love that. All right, I wanna try to do, we'll use this color. I'm gonna use this for my habits. This is where things get a little like, my brain stops working. Um, I did not leave myself enough room last time. So let's try to do this again. We got H2O. Um, we're going to write in green tea because I've been trying to make sure I do green tea in the morning before coffee. Movement. Reading. And I'm going to do my miracle morning. I like tracking that. I'm just going to write in miracle morn. Okay. Now, let's draw my line. Let's give that a second. And we need, up here needs to say habits. So let's draw my line here. Oops, let's make sure my line's straight, shall we? That's a little awkward. Okay. And we'll do habits. And we'll write in our days of the week. So should we do, did I do it on the top last time? I did. So let's do it on the top again. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Habits. Oh, I like that. So cute. And then I have my market list here. I'm actually going to start adding in some of my things for my market list. So we need milk. It's always the standards. Milk, bread. I don't have to like start start upping my bread game. I freeze my bread because me and I swear <laughs> we're a bunch of carboholics in this house. We've got a problem. Um, my kids go through so much bread. What else did I say I needed? There was something. Oh, I need American cheese. 
I actually probably need to go to the store today to go get this. American cheese, and I need some Swiss cheese, which I do not like Swiss cheese. It's Joe's. Yuck. Um, <laughs> what else did I say? I needed, um, there was something else. Syrup. We don't have syrup. Syrup. And I do have a list on my refrigerator. I'm just seeing if I can remember everything. I do need cat litter. And dry cat food. I'll put those on there. Okay. It's a good starting point. Today's only Monday, so I can keep adding to this list. Ooh. So far, I'm really loving this. So let's get to some decorative pieces. Now that I have my structure going on, um, I do want to put in a couple of reminders. Also, so I want to make sure I leave room for that. Where is the other set that I was going to use? All right, let's see. It's stuck back together. See if I can get it unstuck. Again, I'm trying to not add in too much color. I do like this one. She's cute. Oh, this piece of tape that's on the end of these. She's so cute. All right, let's add her in. Typically, I don't. Um, let's do it on Thursday. I don't typically decorate right in the center, but I think that kind of looks cute right there like that. And then to have some of the writing go around it would be nice. All right, so today is Monday. I have to take Joe to work. We had some hand surgery and we're still not feeling comfortable enough to drive. Um, what else? I have to do some laundry. I have to go to the bank today and I have to do a cash stuffing. And I want to batch some reels for Instagram. I've been so busy that I haven't had a minute to do any Instagram reels. So if you're wondering where I've been, I've just been busy. Um, but I'm going to get on that today. And let's see, tomorrow, let's start, let's do some dates too. 12, 13. I can't believe that today is June 12th and we are in the process of putting up a new soft-sided pool, um, our one from last year. Um, the pole's rusted, but like we've had it, we had it for like five years. So it was kind of like, oh, there it is. But this year it's been, we're trying to level the ground and then Joe had this unexpected surgery. So now he can't do anything. And my dad's been trying to come over and help. And it's just been, oh, it's been grand. Um, but I still can, I can't believe that like we're in, um, I want to put this here and trim off the edges. We're in June. We're June 12th. And the pool's not up. Usually we have it up sooner than this. But obviously because of um, the new pool and having to, it was a larger space. So we've had to um, level the ground and make it a little bit bigger. But... Um, the weather has just been terrible. We, you know, and we've had summers like this before, where we start off having like really, really great weather, and it's really nice and um, warm, and then all of a sudden it gets cold and rainy. So we're in June twelfth, and like today is a bit humid, but it's been not. <laughs> Not friendly weather around here, unfortunately. Okay. Um, I really like this flower. And I kind of want to put it next to this girl. Because I think it would work well. What do we think? Hmm, maybe not. Why don't we do it right here? trying to keep this spread fairly simple. Okay, I decided I might add in some quotes. These are also from the washi tape shop. I'm really liking this keep going. Let's add this in and it's again trying to keep everything fairly neutral. So let's put this in. 
I like it right here. So cute. And let's see if we can find another one that's kind of small and that'll fit in this, fit in somewhere else, let's see. Never say never. Make something good every day. I like this one, but I feel like it's too dark. Focus on the good. Let's see. Remember why you started. Focus on the good. All right, I think I'm gonna go with this awesome one. It's kind of bigger than I wanted, but if I put it in here, does go fairly well and then I can use that. So Weston has his fifth grade moving up ceremony on Friday. And I'm really excited and proud of him, though I'm not ready for middle school. But ready or not, here we come. Okay. Let's see, do I want to add in any more florals? I'm not sure, I don't think I do. I really am liking this and I like how simple it is. It's kind of going for, it's got the look that I was going for, simple. Okay, I'm trying to think Thursday, that's the only other thing that I want to remember. Joe has a doctor's appointment, so let's put that in. Again, his stitches removed. And why do I feel like I have something on Sunday? Oh, <laughs> I know why. It's Father's Day. So let's write that in because obviously I'm going to forget. And Friday, I actually have a nail appointment. at 4 p.m. But I definitely, definitely need to get my nails done. Okay, guys, I think that's gonna do it for me for this spread. I'm really liking this and it's very simple, very quick, just a couple of stickers here and there, but it gives me the nice flow. All right, guys, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit so you can get a better look at that. And I think that's going to do it for me for this spread this week. Super quick, super simple. Um, and I'm really loving these dolls. They're so cute. I really like the vintage um, look. So this is perfect for this planner especially. And I think it goes very nicely with the cover and the aesthetic. So I'm really liking this. All right, I'm going to pull you guys back out again. All right. As always, guys, thank you so much for taking time out of your day to come and sit and plan with me. I know this was a little shorter one today, but I truly appreciate it. I know we're all busy. Um, if you are interested in subscribing to the channel, go ahead and do so now so you don't forget and hit that little bell notification so you're notified anytime we come out with something new on the channel. And until I see you again, have a beautiful week and keep planning. Bye.